Hi, this is Mindy Harder, and my topic presentation is on the Baglahar Dam, speaking on what it's like to depend on your mortal enemy for water. When the partition took place, India and Pakistan were obviously divided into separate independent countries of their own, and that meant that the Indus River had to be divided as well, since it was the main supply of water for both countries. The Indus Water Treaty allowed the river to divide up. So Pakistan had control over the west side, which included the Indus, the Jhelum, and the Chenab, while India had control of the Ravi, the Sitla, and Bias. And there were provisions in this treaty that allowed India to, to make some run-of-the-river projects as long as they met certain requirements that were in the treaty. The treaty started, uh, the idea for it started in 1948, and they couldn't come to a solution on how to divide up the rivers, so the World Bank sent a neutral party to create a solution in 1951. However, the treaty was not signed and agreed upon until 1960. The idea of the Baglahar Hydroelectric Power Project, which is also known as the Baglahar Dam, was thought of in 1992. They began, India thought of it, and they began building it in 1999. It was not completed until 2008, and though Pakistan argued against it, did not like the idea of it. The World Bank once again stepped in with a neutral party and decided that the dam was following the provisions found in the Indus Water Treaty. So India was able to construct it even though the dam is actually located on the Chenab River. Here we see that the Chenab River is part of Pakistan's um, responsibility and they have ownership of it yet as we said there are certain provisions which allow India to to step in and build things on Pakistan's rivers so this dam was allowed the location of the dam is in the southern Dota district of the Indian state Jammu and Kashmir bordering Pakistan the usage of waters of the three western rivers was given exclusively to Pakistan. However, India, as the upper riparian state, was allowed a restrictive use of their waters for domestic agriculture, non-consumptive, and hydrogeneration purposes. One of these three rivers was Chenab. So, this is a quote from Water Power Magazine, which basically sums up what I was saying. The dam is... 144.5 meters high with a live storage capacity of 15 millimeters cubed. It's completely concrete and the problem with the dam is that India now has control of the water on the Chenab River and the Chenab River is supposed to be Pakistan's. India does not trust Pakistan or Pakistan does not trust India. And so this is the main issue we have here. The dam itself isn't that big of a problem if everyone follows the rules. Yet, Pakistan thinks that India might betray them. So when there's an excess of water, uh, India is able to just let it out through the dam. And Pakistan is worried that they could be flooded through this. And also, if there's a shortage of water, Pakistan... Um, may not get the water because India has the ability to um, hold the water back through this dam without releasing any to Pakistan. Yet India provides Pakistan with reasoning on why the dam will be safe and will be fine because India has another project down the river called the Salah Project and since it is after the Baglahar Dam and before Pakistan, if India did anything to stop the flow of water or to send excess flows 
down, then they would ruin their Salal project, which is downstream from the Baglahar Dam. Why would India want to mess up their own project, is what they are telling Pakistan. So this is the reasoning of why they will follow the rules and the dam will be fine. So what it's like for um, Pakistan to depend on water from India is basically this quote. India gave the assurance that it will be careful in future and Pakistan has accepted that in spirit of cooperation and goodwill. Pakistan has just got to trust India and they've got to just rely on each other and hope for the best, honestly, because there isn't much Pakistan can do about it. Here's the bibliography.